Hi, welcome to Tech Bites with Hef. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a random spinning wheel in PowerPoint. I'm going to use my spinning wheel in my virtual classroom so that my students can pick an exercise at random. You can use it for anything, a random name picker, a random food picker. Let's get started. So to get started, open up a new PowerPoint and then we're going to go to insert chart and under chart, you're going to find pie. We're going to insert a pie chart, press OK. And our pie chart comes in with an Excel document underneath. In column one, in column A, sorry, we're going to type in what we want each pie slice to represent. Mine are going to be exercises. So I'm going to go with lunges, followed by squats, followed by burpees, and followed by jumping jacks. In the second column where it says sales, you're going to type in equals 360, which is the degrees in a circle, divided by the number of slices in your pie, minus four. You can change yours to be whatever it is. Press return and it'll put a 90 in that box. Now you're gonna put 90 in the rest of the columns, in the rest of the column. And press return. And there you will get your pie, okay? X out of your Excel document. Now clear out the list down here and clear out the sales at the top. Now go to design, go to quick layout. And under quick layout, you're going to find the example that has your um, description of what your pie is, my exercises, labeled inside of the pie. In doing so, though, it puts that sales back up. So I'm going to X out of that. And I think I'm going to increase. I'm going to go home and make my lettering larger. All right. So now I'm ready to begin and get it to animate. Let's move on. So we have our pie, but before we can animate it, we need to turn it from a chart to a picture. So click on the outside of your pie, go to copy, then click again, right click and paste as picture. Now you gotta get rid of your first one. So we're gonna get this one and we're gonna delete it. Now center your pie again. All right, so now go to animate and we're gonna scroll down until we find spin. And it spins. Now we want to manage that spin. So click on the animation pane and this is picture five, 15. We'll go to timing and we're gonna do triggers and we're gonna do for picture 15, we want it to go fast and we want it to repeat until next click. Okay, there it goes. Now we need to animate it again because we want it to happen more than one time. So we need to create a loop. So you're going to click on appear and now we're going to manage the appear. We go to timing and go down to triggers, start effect on picture 15 and tap OK. So now let's see what happens. We go to the slideshow, current slide, tap on it. So your spinning wheel works and all you have to do now is add a pointer. So go to insert, Go to shapes, get yourself an arrow, put your arrow in. I'm going to change my color. And we'll go to slideshow. And we'll do our burpees. Now all you have to do is save it. Uh, you can save it as a PowerPoint, and then you can use that PowerPoint slide to insert into your virtual classroom if you want. Uh, you can also save it as a PowerPoint show, 
and that way you can just send that out through a link when you upload it to the cloud. All right, thanks for joining us. See you next time.